uh, Norman Rockwell, my, my teacher, uh, my, you know, that I learned most from, um, used photographs in the later years um, to paint from. And I wanted to be an illustrator like Norman Rockwell. Yes. And so I learned how to take photographs to paint from. Yeah, well, I just bought a camera. Well, actually, my dad bought me a camera. And, um, and I started out taking pictures. I started in being, let's see, what, uh, uh, just taking pot shots around Berlin. Actually, I started taking my, you know, photography more seriously when I was in the army. And I did a couple of uh, division, the first, the first U.S. infantry division. Yearbooks I did too, and did most of the photography for these two books. I just bought a couple of cameras and started in. Uh, I finally decided to come to Berlin and visit a friend. And uh, then I went to the Free University here, and while doing that, I w was painting pictures and uh, taking photographs. Photograph my friends here. Uh -huh. Um, and they were uh, the very, very good people. They were very uh, excited about you know what was going on in life. Um, they were also university students, most of them, or art art students actually, also. Yeah, and uh, fell in love a couple of times, and um, just took pictures of them all the time. And uh, because they did very, very interesting things and had a lot of fun, I showed you know, these, these photographs to different magazines in Germany and couldn't get a job. And um, until a, uh, a new magazine ar arrived on the scene, Twen, Twen magazine was very famous in the 60s. My art director friend, Willie Fleckhouse for Twen magazine, he had a style of presenting my photographs that the people, you know, would recognize because uh, he saw a very good way of putting my photographs together yes. over a series of uh, pages. Let's see, I had uh, many of my uh, essays were sometimes was a 10, 10, 12, 16 pages really? long. I went on photographing these young people and then let's see what happened. And, uh, I met this, uh, this fairly young girl and fell in love and got married, had my first child, and we moved then uh, to, to Munich. And there I had a job working for a, um, yeah, a, a magazine, a life, style, life magazine style. Um, and um, I yeah, worked for them for 10 years about doing all kinds of essays and uh, different countries. And the biggest legal problems that I had were with the Show Me book. That was the, uh, the second book that I did. The first book I did was on Conrad Adenauer. The second book was a, uh, called the Sexual, sexual Lexicon. Or something. Ah. It was a sex book. It, was in, it finally got to New York in English. And after I did that, then um, I did a a much light, lighter, in also with the feeling, as a more humorous actually, a uh, book about um, child child sexuality. It was very successful among a whole bunch of people. You know, a large number of people bought the book too. And then they didn't got into uh, uh, a kind of a, a pedophile slot because there were naked children in the book. And uh, then uh, they, uh, uh, the they who. Uh, uh, you know, many people have said that uh, that actually I did the book for pedophiles, which is, I mean, really ridiculous. Sure. You know, absurd, and um, and it's it stayed that way. It's uh, you know, I've never gotten off that track. I think what I think what I'm doing is I'm trying to put it all together somehow. I mean, analyze uh, the my world situation and um, my paintings show uh, a lot of Gleichzeitigkeiten. Uh, they have it at the same time in different places, different times, yes. but they have something 
to do with each other, you know, with this. And that's a kind of, I put a lot of people in my paintings and, um, and uh, I like to paint them. And, and I take them off my photographs. You know, I, I've done, or oh, I also do the photographs. I go out and have an idea and go out and photograph that. And then, but not for a magazine because the magazines don't say what I want to say. Yes. You know, I, uh, I lost that. Uh, my, my, my best magazine just disappeared. I mean, when, you know, the, and the man who made it died. I was uh, with Stern magazine for a while. I mean, I wasn't, you know, uh, one of the uh, favorite photographers of, of Stern magazine, but uh, I did a couple of large essays and they just bundled it. I mean, it just, you know, I had something to say and I couldn't say it. So I left the magazines. I left the magazines and decided that I wanted to paint because I thought, I thought that if I painted my pictures, that I could say, you know, to, my, to myself and to my public exactly what I wanted to say. Now I found out that I can't do that either because it's, it's the gallerist who decides if I get on the market or not. If, if, if there's no gallery who wants me on the market and make money with, you know, what I do, then, uh, you know, well, I can pay forever and, and never, never sell a picture. I like, I like the boys. I, 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 like, I like to watch what they do Look at them. Yeah, that's become my main theme also, you know, what, the, what the boys are doing and, and what they have to do. You know, what they, what they have to learn to do. And how the boy is, um, loses Wordsworth, like, if you know the poem, um, his identity and becomes a cog in society. Well, I think it's very sad, actually, you know, that, that, that photographs are easier to read. It's easier to read and, and it's easier uh, than to imagine depth or see depth. If you can't, uh, if you can't get past the, the painter's, the painter's style, yes. you know, enough, then you, then you don't dis discover any depth in the painting either. I mean, I feel that, uh, I mean, that's what I'm trying to do all the time, is to, is to paint, in many senses, depth. That's why I do sculpture also. And I, my main piece of work right now is a, is, a, is a hundred square meter, five meter high installation outside of Berlin, you know, the anti-war memorial that I call it. And I'm constantly, working with space and, and depth and, and um, not only and movement also in depth. I have people falling in, they fall like the, the new descending the stair was, but I don't, I don't think I have a real, you know, style, I just take pictures. I don't know, there's this guy in New York who wants to do the show me book again. He doesn't want to do, the, I mean, he's not interested in books that way, but he wants to make a movie. About show me and uh, uh, you know talk about it and uh, and uh, say that we're doing a new book. I mean, I would do the book again. You see, after sh show me, I did a show me more book, wow. which uh, uh, the show me was actually for young children. Yes, young children, and show me more was more for teenagers. Uh huh. You know, and had uh, took in the fact that uh, the people were getting AIDS. And show me when I did photograph. Show me there was no AIDS. I have a theory. Please. That um, what you call society and, and politics um, is the state, the state, and the church. And both the state and the church. Exist because of people's fear. If there's 